Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 419. Common brain lesions. What are the consequences of basal ganglia lesion? Basal ganglia lesion can result in tremors at rest, chorea, and atthetosis. What condition causes basal ganglia lesion? Basal ganglia lesion can occur due to Parkinson's disease. What are some of the consequences of cerebellar hemisphere lesion? In cerebellar hemisphere lesion, it can lead to intention tremors, limb ataxia, and loss of balance. Damages to the cerebellum results in ipsilateral deficits, so a person would fall towards the side of the lesion. What is the mnemonic to help you remember that the cerebellar hemisphere lesion can lead to limb ataxia? The mnemonic to help you remember this is just remember that cerebellar hemispheres are laterally located and they affect the lateral limbs. What are some of the consequences of cerebellar vermis lesion? If the cerebellar vermis is lesioned, it will lead to truncal ataxia and dysarthria. What is dysarthria? Dysarthria is just difficulties articulating or difficulty speaking. What is the mnemonic to help you remember that the vermis lesion can lead to truncal ataxia? The mnemonic to help you remember this is that vermis is centrally located, so it affects the central body. So again, cerebellar hemispheres will affect the lateral limbs, and the vermis, which is central, will affect the central body, such as the truncal ataxia. What is the consequence of subthalamic nucleus lesion? If the subthalamic nucleus is lesion, it will lead to contralateral hemibalismus, which happens in lacunar stroke. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.